work's stressful, and sometimes after work, you just need to take the edge off. So grab a Pepsi and a sleeve of Oreos packaged in non-recyclable plastic wrapping and get a little rush on the drive home. Oh yeah! But please always remember to keep your car clean on your drive home and dispose of your waste out the window. Public roads and the upkeep of our threatened environment is not your responsibility. Climate change has consequences for But your car is. Think about the crumbs. Get it off your seat, leave it on the street. After all, some idiot, he'll pick it up anyway. Hi, I'm Rob. I like to ride my bike, especially on the back roads where I grew up in Caroline County, Maryland. But recently, I've noticed more litter than I've ever seen along our local roads. I don't like litter. Neither does my friend Josh. But I was curious as to how much litter there is. So I set out on a mission. Ride 15 miles along this route using my dad's 30-year-old bike and some trash cans rigged to a baby carrier we bought for my niece. The rules are, if there's trash on my side of the road, I have to stop, I have to pick it up. The goal was to see how much trash there was along the route and how long it would take me to complete it. Also, mostly, just to have something to do on a Saturday. Oh, plastic bag! At the end of the day, we'd collect all the trash bags and estimate a total. So, at 7 a.m., I hit the road. Uh, first bag down, approximately 0.4 miles away from my house, so uh, long word. I was raised to think littering was unthinkable. It can hurt the animals, pollute our streams, and it just feels wrong and looks bad. So most of the morning I was questioning why. Why and how is all this trash getting on the side of the road? Are people throwing trash out the window because they don't think it affects them? Or because it's convenient? Or because they already see trash on the side of the road, so what's one more piece? Whose responsibility is it to clean up, and what are these? Uh, it's about noon. Definitely getting tired. About five hours in, I traveled two miles and collected approximately five bags full of trash. A cool Australian guy stopped to give me his take on litter accountability. I think After eight hours or so, we picked up around 12 bags and I'd only traveled three miles. You just picking up trash? But I appreciate it, man. Yeah, for sure. You need some help or are you good? If you want. After 10 hours, another kind stranger offered to join the mission. Then my parents came out, and by 7.30 p.m. we'd collected over 27 bags of litter, only along four miles of road. That's 11 miles short of my 15-mile goal, mostly because I had to stop frequently to pick up trash. Also, I didn't always choose the most effective ways to pick up trash. I was given 48 hours by my dad to get the mountain of trash off our porch, so the next day I selected four bags to go through and counted their contents. I categorized the makeup of each bag based on recyclable as plastic bottle, glass, paper, or aluminum cans, and non-recyclable as plastic waste and general waste. I tallied everything up, divided each category by the 527 total pieces of litter between the four bags I counted, and estimated the following breakdown of litter. 
19.5% plastic bottles, 11% glass, 3.5% paper, 25.5% aluminum cans, 33% non-recyclable plastic waste, 7.5% non-recyclable non-plastic waste, 0.01% non-recyclable panties. So if we assume that the four bags are representative of all 27 bags, about 60% of the litter I collected could have been recycled, and half of the litter was plastic. Also, if I estimate, we picked up approximately 180 pieces per 30 gallon bag and 83 pieces per 13 gallon bag. In total, we picked up about 3,904 pieces of litter along four miles of road. And according to local public works, we have 953.61 lane miles in Caroline County. So in total, I picked up trash along approximately seven lane miles. Assuming for every seven lane miles, there are 3,904 pieces of litter, then right now in Caroline County, there are over half a million pieces of litter along our roads. That's 17 times our population. Of course, there's plenty of room for error in these numbers, and I can't assume every road in Caroline County has the same amount of litter, but regardless, it's a lot. My dad and I went through the remaining trash to pick out recycling. And in this process, I've learned I've been recycling wrong for years. Almost all the paper products from fast food restaurants that I'd set aside to recycle were actually lined with plastic coating. I also learned the symbol on the bottom of the plastic products doesn't necessarily mean they can be recycled. It's meant to look that way so you don't question your purchase, but it only tells you what type of plastic product it is. Our county just recycles ones and twos. And it turns out that our nation's recycling system in general is pretty terrible when it comes to plastics. It's more cost efficient to make new plastics, so 91% of plastics in the world aren't recycled. And plastic takes over 400 years to degrade, so this problem is just compounding on itself. It was a long winter, so most of my reasoning to spend 13 hours on a bike picking up trash was to get outside, help solve a local problem, and to feel good. But even the local problem of litter is way bigger than me. And litter is just a symptom of a bigger problem of waste and consumption in our culture. A problem that feels so out of reach as a single person, yet a problem that will overwhelmingly affect each of us more and more in our lifetimes. But the fact that one guy on an old bike that he can't get to stand up very well inspired conversation and four other people to join in and collectively pick up over 3,500 pieces of litter in one day. It has to be a glimmer of hope. Because the same compounding social effect that makes people carelessly toss trash out the window can also encourage us to collectively question our habits and inspire each other to care for our communities and our planet.